Soldier Boy, Bow Wow versus I'm talking about it. Fellas, you paying bills forever? Yo, fellas, what's the best advice you can give to a woman that's in a relationship? What's the word? What's the vibes? Yeah, yeah, What's going yeah, on? Yeah, 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 Greg yeah. Drake, how are we doing? What's yeah, man. good? What's happening? What's happening? I go by the undeniable name of Damo. Never been a lame. Oh, it's your boy, that boy, Bari. And I'm Jay Willard, the podcast killer, a.k.a. Podcast Poppy, a.k.a. The Podfather. And this is Willow Wednesdays. You about to get some ghetto news from your relationship gurus. Bow. Bow. Let's get it. Yeah, Talk to me, <laughs> fellas, What's brothers, we brothers of mine. We got to turn you down, brother. You are loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, cause I, I'm happy to be here, man. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> What's up, man? 42, What's 43. going on, no, man? Good, how, man. How, just making, how was y'all week? I mean, y'all can make those adjustments. I'm just going to talk to my peoples, man. How was y'all week? How's we doing? Mental health check. We back um, again. Yo. Talk to me. Yeah, man. Um, feeling good, feeling great. Um, I am um chewing all on the mic, but um, almost ready to head down to Atlanta, man. I'm ready. Ooh. I'm ready, bro. Ooh. Yeah, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Wow. Uh huh. Uh huh. Myself a little air horn or something. Uh-huh. Finalizing it. Big uh, thing. Big thing. I'll go on. Before I get down there, though. I have to go to Chicago first for the fourth, of course. You know, the IR10 okay. skate event. You know how that goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I, sh- I shut that shit down a couple of years ago. I remember. <laughs> Good times, man. I was all up in the circle and shit, you know, killing it <laughs> <laughs> like I normally do. You know how I do. I mean. Yeah. So was Barry, because apparently this fantasy includes everyone. Listen, I, I have no clue what you're talking about, brother. <laughs> I know I'm nice. Okay. Heard you. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm down here, and my skates is packed up. I can't. I can't gain access to my skates. So oh, I'm trying to go to. True. Bro, when do you get, I'm, your, I'm when you get to, your stuff? Honestly, I might just go out and buy another pair. Because really, that's money, bro. Cascade is lit out here, bro, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm missing the movement. It's a vibe out here. Uh, yeah. You're missing the, the 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 Chicago JB skating shit. In Atlanta, Listen, it's, it, it's, oh, it, it, and I, I, I could never, could never be caught dead in some rentals. All right. Uh, and, and for y'all, for y'all rental skaters out there, this is a message from Jay Willer. Listen, let know. you gotta get your life in order. Get it together. Like, do, do you not have any pride? What's wrong with you? Rub out. Do you have no shame? No, no. Get your life together. You, you, you putting your foot in some. Uh, Disgusting. And then they, they gotta get it together. And then when you skate in the in the, in the, in the brown joints, they be moving all the which away. <laughs> like, yeah, man. Pulling the, to the left, pulling to the right. The mm-hmm. wheels all cock nah, yeah, I don't like that. Bounce. I don't like that. All y'all rental skaters, don't even show up to the skate rink, man. Don't do it. Just stay home. This guy here. This guy here. This guy here. Yeah, Barbie's a rental skater. I don't skate that often, but when I do. <laughs> yeah, when you do, you wear them nasty doo-doo brown shits. But I be, I be killing it. <laughs> doo-doo brown. Doo-doo brown. For a long, brown. Time, doo-doo for a long brown. time, they thought I couldn't skate. But then when I finally skated, they said, oh, you can actually skate. I just don't like skating because they hurt my feet. I mean, it wasn't terrible. No, he wasn't I good was either. I, I, I wasn't. No, I, no, no, no. I didn't fill I, it in. I just said he wasn't terrible. You don't have the rest. No, no, no. Because y'all niggas like, oh, you probably can't skate. And then I said, oh, you can skate. I ain't out here. No. Up. Who was Bro, whack? Out. Was Lamar? Jesus. Talking all the shit. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. oh, Lamar was trash. But you gotta remember Lamar. Well, you're not from here, but Lamar wasn't here for Empire Skating Days. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't okay. get to actually like put some skates on. Yeah. Yo, R.I.P. Yeah. to Empire, man. Yeah, man. Empire Skating Ring was 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 a time. 
Shout Empire out to Skate Arena. Listen, it was that's a staple if, in Brooklyn for real. If like, you missed it, staple mm. in Brooklyn. Hmm. Yeah, everybody and their mother used to go there. Everybody and their mother. But cool, all right, Dame. All right. Dame, that was Dame week. Barry, how was your week, my brother? What up? Yo, yo, y'all are gonna be so proud of me, right? What happened? I saved somebody's life today. Oh shit! Oh. We got a hero in the building. You know oh, round of applause. Can we get a round of applause for that? Okay, I got you. I got you. Shout out to me. Shout out to me. All right. You know yeah. Um, I have a coworker. He's a young man. He's a young man. He's 21, and he's going through a lot in his life. Legit. All jokes aside, and not for nothing, the young man has been uh, going through some tough times. So today he decides to come to work slightly, I'm saying slightly, but more than slightly. He came inebriated to work at eight o'clock in the morning, mm. right? So in him coming to work eight o'clock in the morning inebriated, I was like, yo bro, not for nothing, you need to go. And apparently from my knowledge, this is not the first time he's done it. So I said, yo bro, not for nothing, you need to like take a second and go. Even if it's you go sit in your car and sleep, sleep, sleep it out, bro. Smack. At eight o'clock in the morning. Damn. So he pressure. went cool. He came back worse than what he left at one o'clock in the afternoon. Damn. At twenty one, right? Mm. So he came in with a bag of McDonald's and he's dropping the food all over the place. Oh. Can't walk straight. So I say, Yo bro, come let me come holler at you. I say, Yo, what's good with you? Nothing, nothing. Yo, I'm about to go back to my car and go drink some more. I say, you know what? I'm going to go with you. Let, let's go both drink together. <laughs> right? Let's go both drink together. Okay. Go to the car. Probably try to bum a drink off the nigga. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> try to help see, him and get a drink. See, see, no, this is why I didn't want to tell the story. But anywho, he, I went, got a drink. He, he went to go get a drink. And I legit took the bottle and I poured the bottle out on the floor. All right, that would have been a fight. Yeah, a what? A drunk fight. So I'd, you you know, pulled no. my liquor out? Bro, he nah. was shit faced at twenty one at twelve o'clock and one o'clock in the afternoon, and he's supposed to be at work. Like, not he not. It's not like oh, he nice or whatever. And I could be like, ah, right, you could take a little drink and sip. Nah, as niggas, no, this little nigga is shit faced. He can't walk straight, slurring his words. He don't even know. He don't even remember where he parked, bro. It took us ten minutes to find his car. Ah, that little brother going so, through something. So I, I got I got a question. Talk to me. Did you drink? No, 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 Because I feel like, yo, I ain't going to hold you. And mind you, you going to be tight when I tell you the drink he had. What? You're going to be like, oh, that's crazy. You fucked up. What? Willa going to know, know the drink that he had. And he going to be tight that I, that I pulled out on the floor. What was it? What, tequila. Duce? No. Oh, Casa. The Casa Migos? Yes. You wasted Casa Migos? Oh, yeah. nah. You better get that man back his $60. I know yeah. that much. Yeah, you ain't know. So, cause I, I was coming to work ready to fight with my money. I mean, at. That ain't smearing off, nigga. That's you know. but, but but nonetheless, he was drunk. Like he was he was trying to go drive home type shit. And mind you, he live in Long Island. Nah, bro, we not doing this. Not today. So took Sunday. All right, so Barry stepped in. You know Big saying? brother had to call his mom. Mom came, wowed him up. Bro. Oh, you snitched! Oh, oh bro! No, no, I'm bro, taking... how was he getting home? I wasn't paying that Uber for that little nigga to go home. The fuck bro, you like? you poured his bottle out and then called his mom. Okay, <laughs> but, cool, but 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 I don't know if that's thing. a hero, bro. But but <laughs> but, but here's the thing. Mari's a I, fucking chaperone. Yeah, that's, that, yeah. No, but here's the thing. This is bro. All the I, it's jokes, but. From my knowledge now, this is something his mom is used to with him at this point now. Nah, but as you soon mean? as we as soon as we told his mom, his mom was like, "Is he like pass out, shit face on the floor?" We like, nah. nah. So she already She's knew like, the deal. All right, I'm on my way. Damn. Stop so snitching. He, whatever he going through, this is a reoccurring thing with her, and she's like, "Yo, listen, man, just." Nah, you need to get that little brother some counseling. No, man. he. I don't like, know. Like, what's going on? Do we know? He got daddy issues and. He got low self-esteem. Nigga, we all got uh, daddy issues. Bro, but... Well, you, you, you know what? You know what? Okay, health. wait. Mental wait, health. Wait. Mental You're health. You're right. You're right. I would like to retract that last statement. That's highly <laughs> insensitive. No, no. Real shit, real shit, real shit. That's highly insensitive and is ignorant. And I don't want to... I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I apologize bro, for that. A lot of... Not for nothing. I've realized the way you and I take it, how we grew up, Willa, in terms of daddy issues and going through shit, we, 
we have been taught to overcome it with certain things. His generation wasn't taught that. They're not, and I don't want to. They're, they're, damn, I don't, I'm gonna say if I man, say this is gonna sound insensitive, and I'm not gonna. Say, so I'm not. Just gonna say, say it. it. Man, say what you're saying. They're a lot softer than we were. You know mm. what I'm saying? And because of that, they're not. They don't know how to fully cope and deal with their emotions. And because of that, they just do things like this. For example, mm. you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, I, I don't. I, I can't say they like a generation. I could just say people not taught how to cope with shit because clearly you drinking young, he's a young black man it's not but like but clearly he's, he's running from something right you know what i'm saying so there's this some pain somewhere just trying to have fun he's legit yeah. going through something and running from whatever demons he got and right I told he's him, like, he's a runner he's a track star come on come on now <laughs> and i told him you keep i said you could only put shit on pause for a certain period of time eventually once you the shit has come off pause and once you sober up the shit gonna be right back there, whatever it is that you're trying to run from. So eventually, you gotta handle the shit. And so is that bottle, baby? No, um, no I, I mean, but speaking <laughs> of being a crackhead, mm. Young and May checked herself in the rehab. I oh. did see that. Yeah, looking through. Uh, yeah, looking through. Yeah, yeah, I saw but that. I'm for unknown reasons. They no, nobody said for what. But, and and um, all, all, all jokes aside, I'm not calling Young and May a crackhead. It was just funny, but. Yeah, um, if we talk about addiction or whatever the case may be, she yeah. definitely checked herself in. I hope she get the help that she need. Every, yo, it's a, yo. I tell people all the time, it's a big thing for you to understand what your problem is and try to really address and fix your problem. Y'all think a I lot need, of people can't take account. Y'all think I need rehab? Yes. The real question. Um, not anymore. Yes, I think you do. You still think I should go? Yes. What you think, Jay? The real I, question. I, 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 <laughs> Friend to friend, at one to moment him. in time, yeah. When when you was when you was locked up in that room, yeah, and you wasn't oh, in, the be, in the beginning, yeah, and, when you, and you wasn't conversing with nobody, and you was gaining this weight, is, and you was is, out here looking like a. After, this is even after that. I will never forget the night you almost wanted to fight us, and we was like, "All right, so today's the day we just going all three of us just gonna be in this room fighting." I don't, I don't remember this. Not gonna hold you. I was gonna knock you the fuck out. When bro, was this? You said to me it was with a love, day, bro. After today, I'm no longer I'm no longer drinking, right? You said this to us. Okay. You was like, yo, bro, I don't give a fuck. Hold me accountable. Okay. And, you, and we joking how you was like, no, dead the fuck serious. Yeah. So you said, if you're dead serious, okay, no problem. Right. So then now, you had a bottle of liquor. You pulled a bottle of liquor out of somewhere. And we was like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and you was like, what I'm you resourceful. Mean? I'm resourceful. So then Willa. <laughs> Nigga, Dame is like. First. No, bro, no. You see how Willie do it? It was on some G shit like that, right? So you pull a bottle of liquor out from somewhere, and we yeah. both was like, yo, what are you doing? You yeah. was like, yo, what you mean? Ha, 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 ha. You was like, yo, you stopped drinking. He was like, yeah, you said some dumb shit. Mm. So you turn your back, and Willie legit grabbed the bottle of liquor and mm. put it in his bag, and you said, no, you're not drinking this. Oh, wow. So we wouldn't give it back to you. And then you're like, oh, I, whatever, whatever, give me my bottle. And you yeah. said, all right, what time is it? Because I can still make it to the liquor store. And we were like, no. We're going to wait till the liquor store closes, and then we will leave. I did. I don't remember And I this. put this on my life. You got tight and got up and was like, not for nothing. Give me about my shit. For real? I swear to God. And then you, Willa gave you me the bag to behind that me. And then I put it the bag behind me, and we both. I took off my earrings. Willa took off his chain and all that. He was like, so I guess we just going to be in here. So Cause you we're going like to have to shoot it out. You wanted to fight for your bottle. Oh, was I drinking? Like yeah, you was already drinking. We met you drunk. No. Also, I was already drunk yes. at that time. Right. Oh, because I'm like, I was sober. Like, I don't, I don't remember this. And we didn't know you were drunk. You know what I'm oh, saying? okay. That's why I'm like, why the fuck? I, this is a whole scenario. So and once I, you caught and you and you ran up, like, you yeah. moved like you wanted to. You was tight. Like, you was ready. Like, nah, not for nothing. I will run down on y'all for this bottle. So we was yeah. like, I'm okay, so today's the day. <laughs> this is, it's going just, down. <laughs> today's just going to be that day where we going to be in here. We going to whoop your we, ass. We going to have to I shake it out. You, <laughs> and, you, look, <laughs> and you know you drunk. You going to fight two people. <laughs> yo, yo, bro, I put you this on you everything. Drunk. Willa, <laughs> Willa looked at me and said, Bart, today's the day. And I said, I guess today is because we just going to be in here and fuck this thing. And we was going to whoop your ass. <laughs> two I swear people. To God. I said to God, we was going to whoop your ass. I bro. had to be drunk. Like, I Yo, because Willa looked at me drunk. and said, oh, Mark, he, you know, he got his chain. He said, today's the day. And I said, I guess it is. <laughs> that shit is Cause... funny. Wow. This and is then the you tight that we waited till 1210 to leave so you can't go to the liquor store. That would make me upset. You was like, I was <laughs> and Willa, and that shit, the shit that was funny that got you tight, the nigga Willa said, you could probably get liquor tomorrow, but today... You ain't getting shit. <laughs> hey, you was sick. You was like, 
all right, I'm not going. Y'all could go ahead and go home. He was like, I know we could go home. But what happened with the bottle? <laughs> he took it home. Nigga. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. He's like, you not I, drinking that? Sorry. The alcoholic in me is still kind of like, but what happened, though? Today, <laughs> like, did today, you? <laughs> Willis say, yo, you may drink tomorrow <laughs> and the other day after that because we not here. But today, yeah. you not getting a drink. So guess what? You're going to well, go to your bed. So shout much. out to your friends having you back. Thanks. And hold me accountable. You know what I'm saying? I did ask y'all to hold me accountable. I guess I just didn't mean that day. Oh, <laughs> like, it was okay. like three weeks into it, and hey, you was but, just hey, drunk. And listen, he was like, listen, I didn't say when told me. I ain't gonna hold you. You'd have got fucked up in that room. That <laughs> yo, well, I promise you, he'd have. Nah, but for you, you know, when you're drunk, you feel like you could beat up everybody. Uh, so, yeah, I know. You know, you know that's facts. I've 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 thrown a whole I've thrown glass cups and bottles in the club. I don't know what that is. Like when you drunk, it's like I am Superman. Well, like, hey, I'm sad. You would have been sadly mistaken. <laughs> it was you was not winning that. Who is that? That's the train. Oh yeah, I'm in the south, y'all. My bad. Oh, you live by a train? Yo, you should they got, seen they got trains and shit. Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, nah. Wait, you looked up. <laughs> Yo, um, mediator, right. moderator, roll call, selective snitching, temporary lover, always toxic, half a gas station pill, Big Brother Bari. Yeah, um, I adopted so that moniker to tonight. Up, yo. Everybody say it, say a prayer, put prayer hands in the comments for my coworker. You know what I'm saying? Hope he gets better, cause I really, really hope. Yeah, he man, he's from counseling. Together because hey, he about to get his evil shit. No, bro, no, 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 bro. Cause God forbid he drive like that, bro. God, you don't know what could happen, son. Cause mm. we, we all done had blackout moments where we don't even know how we ended up home. Well, and it's three o'clock in the morning. That's true. Shower time. Nah, it's true. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to never hear nobody, nobody, nobody dying. From drunk, let yeah. somebody you know. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I fell asleep. I fell asleep on a three train and woke up in the Bronx. I remember that. Listen, you know how many that. stops it takes to get from Crown Heights to the Bronx, and then from the Bronx back. I'm trying <laughs> to. Remember. I was I was on that train for days, bro. I rem- I, I'm trying to remember because I forgot where you was going because I was on the train with you. We was coming from the studio, I think. And yeah. I, and, them at, I got off, and I got and we got off. I got off. I got off. And you stayed on, but you was, I don't know where you was going, but. I was going, like, I was know, going to East New York. I was going to the crib. Got you, got you, got you. So you had just a few more stops. And I got up. Yeah. I remember, I used to get off the stop before Willa. Like, literally right, the right. stop right before him. That's and I'm like, yo, bro, I'm getting off. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what it is for him? And mind you, the train is outside at them stops. So all that cold air was slapping him, and he still ain't get up. That's how you know you was, that's how you know you was ripped. That nigga was like, I woke done. up in the Bronx. I woke up then, in the Bronx. And I think, I, I could get this story wrong, but did you miss your stop again? You woke up in the Bronx, and then. I, okay, so I woke up in, I woke up in the Bronx. Right. I must have went all the way back to East New York, and then <laughs> woke up downtown Brooklyn. <laughs> Son, yo. So yeah, I, yeah. When I heard this shit, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't call Willa <laughs> stupid all the time, but I say, yo, you are a stupid nigga, bro. Nah, you I, are listen, stupid, bro. It used to happen to me all the time. Um, when I worked at that at that the the, the sex club, whatever, mm-hmm. I leave mm-hmm. at five in the morning, and I legit would wake up. Um, what's them weird stops in Brooklyn? If you want like the the R train, like them oh, really. Like- 87th Street. Yeah, you Avenue. wait. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. just get up and be like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. I was supposed to get off at Atlantic and switch. Nah, fuck that up. Hella days. And now, yeah, now you in Bay Ridge. Right. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> Not even though I'm 72nd Street. <laughs> like, like, you on the other, Yo, that's the other, other side of that's Brooklyn. That's the other and, Brooklyn. And all them train stops is local, nigga. All of them local. You on 75th, 71st, 68th. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, it take forever. Then you got to get to Atlantic, and then shit. You know, it was like, man, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, that's the worst. Shout, bro. Out, to them shout out, shout out to growth and progression. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Word, please. Yo, what we talking about tonight, man? Let's do it. Um, Soldier Boy and Bow Wow. Soulja Boy, tell him they had classic the other day. Classic mm-hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying for the '99 and 2000 babies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was, it was, it was a good time. The internet that had shit was it. fire. The internet already has like ten memes. Oh yeah, that that finger joint. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas is making fun of Bow Wow's Harlem Shake. Bad. <laughs> they said Nigga, that Harlem Shake was horrible. It was bro. bad. That's bro. that. I I I'm not even gonna put Harlem in front of that. I'm not gonna do Harlem <laughs> like that. 
That shit was the Columbus, Ohio shake. Yo, did you hear the nigga say, yo, bro, what the fuck was that? That wasn't a Harlem shake. Nigga said, you just look like you hungry. <laughs> it showed the us nigga said he looked like a dog fucking hungry. <laughs> that nigga said, like, no, sir, sit your ass down. That's what Come I'm on, oh, shot. Bro. Okay. Shot. Um, the other topic as other well. Two. What's right? up? Um, Fellas, what advice would you give to a woman in a relationship right now? A lot yeah. of times we deal with people who are single. Uh, we mm-hmm. tell them, give them advice in different aspects and areas. But right now, we're going to help the people out who are the ladies who are in a relationship out right now. So we're going to. Ladies, ladies, whatever, got you. What's the best advice you would give a young lady right now in a relationship? Uh huh. And then. And lastly, do- there's a video flir- floating around the internet with a young lady who says that if you date her and then you break up whatever economic status you had her at at the time you have to keep that status up until she is able to get it from another man or do for herself mm. so i want to talk right. about that and see if mm. you agree or disagree if you believe in the circumstances that she's in we're going to talk a little about that as well all right all right all right all right, all right. But before Let's we get start, it. oh <laughs> shit! Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Um, but uh, Derek Shaven, Chauvin, 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 the nigga that killed George Floyd, got yeah, sentenced. Um, how many? Twenty-two years. Twenty-two. Twenty-two we, and a half 20, years. Twenty-two and a half. My question to the floor real quick before we get into the topics is, is this a win? Is this a, how we, how we feeling about this? Just real quick. I don't want to start too serious, but. Of course, I wanted the the sentencing to be longer. But, and also, I believe that he also, he's doing time served as well. So. Yeah, they think, yeah. Yeah, so it's that as well. Um. It's a small minor victory to me. You I'm think it's a small it victory? Okay. I'm taking it nonetheless. I'm not gonna take my. I'm not gonna throw away my small victories. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but I wish I. I wish there was more that were that was done in that situation. I wish he got more time. I wish it wasn't time served. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But. What about you, sir, sir Willis, sir. <sighs> okay. Um. There are black people Make right now serving life in prison for small quantities of marijuana yep Mm. there are people in prison right now who are serving life for defending their family members the fact that you can get 22 years for a cold-blooded murder I still think it's white privilege. Like Bari said, I don't want to discredit the small victories, but Hove said it the best, moral victories are for minor league coaches. I can't subscribe. I can't subscribe to being a small minded like that. I feel like it's a step in the right direction. Um, I feel like he definitely deserved more time. Um, Yeah, I don't think any human being would not think that he deserved more time. I don't think at this point, like honestly, when I heard twenty two, I was shocked. I was oh shit, I and I still don't think it was high enough. So I, like, it, it's, it's yeah, a weird no, of feeling. Course. Like, yeah. Yo, a a lot of some a lot of so a lot of people saying yo he deserves a life sentence. He needs at least thirty years, a minimum of thirty years. Some people was like he needs a death penalty. Oh, I, I seen a lot. I, well, I, I, mean, I, I I I don't know if the death penalty is in Minnesota. I'm not sure about that. I, but I, I, I feel he definitely deserved more time than 22 years, yeah. especially with the time served. I, and prison time is slightly different. They don't even go by a full calendar year. Yeah, I don't, they, 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 they count. Yeah, it's crazy because it was murder. Like, it was straight murder. Like, he, um, he should get a long time, you know, because when mm-hmm. you get 10 to 20 years, that stuff like assault, you know, um, like assault yeah. with a deadly weapon and things like that, mm-hmm. like attempted murder. You get 10 to 20 for a life, for a body and stuff know. like that. But for you to just straight kill somebody, like, eh, I kind of feel like it should be a little more. Man. 
like I said, I, um, don't, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. like like you said, yeah, I agree with you, bro. It's mad people with drug offenses that got d- double life. Yep. <laughs> it's like, how you got double life for drugs? They got, but, they got kids in Rikers Island right now at 18 doing 10 to 15. Right. For, 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 for bullshit charges. You know what the fuck double life is? It means the rap. I mean, you, bro, you lived your whole life. You died, and got reincarnated, lived that whole <laughs> life, <laughs> and you still in jail. Nah, bro, that is insane. If I can get double life, that's nah, ridiculous. bro. You, just, I'd rather yeah. definitely let me just be done with it. The, the, yo, listen, the, the, the system, oh, damn. The system that... is so crazy, man. I know, I know the way the system works now is like they purposely put you in jail and send you to Rikers. For a six months bid, knowing that you probably not gonna get out in two to three three years. Why? Because right. you're gonna end up in a fight in Rikers, and them adding the charge of you being in a fight in Rikers is gonna add another year to your sentence, which was three to six months in the first place. Mm, that's crazy. All right. Well, like I said, I just I just wanted to give well, it a few again, minutes. Praise man. to George Floyd and his families. Yeah. Praise to Beyonce Taylor. We coming. That's the next thing that we that's coming, next. That, that we got coming. Please, please, please. Praise to her family. Is as it, well. It's just a it's, it's a fucked up rubric scale that they're on, because it's like what's gonna happen now is every lawyer references back to older cases. Of course, right? right? So now they're gonna be like, well, in Derek Chauvin versus Minnesota, this crime right. happened and this time was allotted, so we have right. to go on this scale, and that's why I say like it, it's it's fucked up, because the black people scale, we can get life for anything. And all you have to do is just reference an old case that happened. But mm. other individuals, they can reference cases that benefits them and they'll get off with lesser crimes. So it's like, we, yes, it's a win, but we, we got to talk about this for real. <laughs> like, because another cop can do the same thing and then they'll just pull up Derek Chauvin versus Minnesota and they'll go on those same guidelines. Right. And then they didn't even talk about parole, which is something else that... um. I, I, we didn't no, even think about I don't like. Know, I don't. Did they offer him? Does no? They said he's not allowed parole, from what I read. Okay. Because I'm like, he's not allowed any parole. Because I'm like, if they make it parole, it's like, like, no, shit. yeah, he served ten. Yeah, do he, ten. He out in ten. Get out. You know what I'm saying? Do good behavior. Be on parole for the next ten years. Like that no, ain't. No, no, that's no, a slap I, on the wrist, saw, bro. From what I saw, slap on the wrist. I read, he's not allowed. He's not allowed any parole. He has to serve all twenty two years. Mm. Well, and I got a suggestion. I got a suggestion to the legal system. Okay. The same way how a sex offender or a pedophile or somebody who do some mook shit like that, they get branded for life, that like they have to do register. Same, do they, the do the same shit for murder. Do the same exact. You you get branded for life. That's what you're doing? Bet. Say less. That shit going to follow you forever. You got to check in. You got to do everything for the rest of your life. You want to take your life? We going to take your life. I mean, in a sense, you have to. Okay, I get what you say. I don't even know. I mean, if it's if it's, if it's that type of crime, I'm with it because just if because you know, sex, yo, know, sex offenders go through the worst. Yeah, bro, do you? But like the thing is, you know, they, indecent they, exposure is considered a sex offense, right? Yeah, so I don't see a dick, man. If you know, if you're man. peeing, like legit, you know, niggas be peeing outside just to use the bathroom. Yeah, yeah and they catch you peeing. Yeah, now you have to go on the sex offenders registry because you were just peeing outside. Well, don't you know, have like, your dick out. Don't have yeah, your dick I out. Mean, I mean, I agree. Listen, <laughs> listen. Nigga, you be having Yo, that could, that could be the title for the episode. Don't, <laughs> don't have, have your dick out. Dick don't out. have your dick you know out, way? bro. There it go right there. Don't have your dick out. Your way. Don't. Y'all remember we was on the train? You, y'all remember? He said, I'm not putting that. <laughs> Wait, he said, I'm not putting that. <laughs> y'all, remember, y'all remember when I was on the train and I had to go? This no, nigga, we're Dame. Doing we're not doing that. We're not oh doing that. My. You know I would have been a sex offender. Yes. I would have been a sex offender. Dame ran across the whole platform with his dick out pee. and pissed it on the was, other man. side. I took that video too. You took a video? You took a video? Bro, you killing me today. So you snitching, now you taking Yo, videos. You were... Yo, the get fans. Jay, get the I'm glad fans. I'm moving, man. <laughs> get, get your boy. God damn. Got the criminal. The he was recording too. I, I, I swear, I put it on it's everything. On I don't snap. got no video. It's no, it's not. You want to bet money? After the show, we can talk. After the show, we can talk. No, 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 no. Don't have y'all we snap the, me having don't a say y'all, the sir, sir, don't say y'all. <laughs> I do not have no video footage of that. Okay? Anyway, Barry trying to lump me in his snitch vibes. Let's go. 
<laughs> Stop right, snitching. Man, let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. I just want to, you know, let's that real talk. Quick. Willow Wednesday. Let's hey, man, talk so. about real quick. Get it out the way. Soldier Boy and Bow Wow. Soldier Boy, tell him. Hop up, Hop up by the bed. Hey, take a bed. In the mirror, say what's up, what's up, what's up. Hey, what's up? hey, hey get, get money. money. Oh. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, man. Uh, okay, so so I, I fuck it. I'm gonna spark it. Um, this was my second, my second favorite verses. The other one was um was um Buju and Beanie. Oh, oh, I thought you was gonna say two chains and uh, two nah, chains. the two um, chains and Rick Ross. That no, shit no, was no, corny. T- no, yeah, two pain, T two pain, T pain, and, and 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 um, what's this nigga name? Lil John, Lil John, and T pain was. I didn't like that one because that was back when the shit was all bad and. But it was entertaining listen, as fuck. It was entertaining listen, as fuck, but this was but the second Buju and best. best. Buju and Beanie's first, Bow and Soldier second. I was thoroughly mm. entertained. These niggas put on a show. Bow Wow came with everybody on stage. He did. Soldier Boy had no catalog. It was amazing. Everything wait. was. I'm sorry. Wait, go wait. Ahead. I'm gonna let you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was saying everything to me was funny and shit. I was thoroughly entertained. I, I literally could not click off of the Instagram feed. It, it was it was entertaining as fuck. I I saw myself in high school. Back in the cafeteria, we had we had, we had our dances in the cafeteria and shit. Right. So I I, I literally remember wearing big ass fucking Galaxy T's, three X T shirts. Right. With the thick ass collar, like I yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed. You get one you get one person. use out them T shirts <laughs> the first yes. day. If you wash them, the collar like swallows you. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> that it was a great it was a great show. The showmanship yeah. was fire. Yeah. Uh, Lil Romeo came out. That's the first time Romeo and Bow Wow was on a stage together uh, ever. Yeah, like twenty. Everybody years, and, like every, and niggas swear that they got beef. Niggas swear. He said it. Beef. He was like, they they put us against each other. We never had beef. He he, he said you was on my first song, bro. Like we, what? There's no beef. Kids don't have beef. That man said I'm the Kobe Bryant. Okay, we got the Michael Jordan. I was gonna hold on for that one. Boy is I, a LeBron. We, we gotta James. address that real quick. But hold on before we do that. <laughs> before we address that ridiculousness. Um, <laughs> shit, what? And he said it with the seriousness. <laughs> He's too. so serious. He's like, like you know what I'm saying? Fellas, I'm the Kobe. Fellas, fellas. <laughs> What's up? I agree with his statement. We can talk. Uh, <laughs> well, hold on, but I just want to—I just want to before we get into Romeo, it was something you said. We we'll, we we'll get back. To, no, no, we we'll come right to it. You, you said that Soldier ain't had no catalog. Um, what pisses me off is I personally know that Soldier Boy has the catalog. Oh no, no, he does. He just didn't. Well, he didn't. He didn't. He yeah, didn't but, fucking use it, and and that really that's, upset that's what I, that's me. What I meant to say. Like, it yeah, really upset me, though. Like, we didn't hear speakers going hammer. Bammer, bammer. bammer, bammer, bammer that's bammer. my shit. That's legit my favorite Soldier Boy song. So I'm I'm pissed, like, as a fan. Like, I didn't hear my favorite song. Speakers going what the fuck? Hammer. That shit is hard. Listen, he got, he, he got he, the, the his, his yo, Soldier Boy, he, he, his fucking song choice was bad, man. Like, yeah, he could have done a lot better. He could have did a lot better because he got the catalog. Yeah. But okay, so that's what I was, I guess that's what I was trying to allude to. We know Soldier got twenty. He didn't play twenty. He played he played like one song four times. He yeah. played the record. Yo, but it was the level of trolling that right. this man has right. in his back pocket is unmatched. No, no, right. I'm not gonna say unmatched because Takashi Six Nine is Takashi's God, God body troll. <laughs> the God of trolling. God, God body troll, but Soldier Boy is right the fuck there. That right. nigga played a whole record. That he wasn't even on. <laughs> he okay. played Drake song featuring him, Yo, and then we Bow listened Wow's... like two Drake verses and two Bro, hooks. <laughs> the nigga Bow Wow said, "Where's your verse at?" He said, "I don't got one." <laughs> and Kim, like, Bro, he didn't give a fuck, and that's why it was so entertaining. Like we yeah, watching yeah, yeah, niggas yeah. do the... Soldier Boy at this point. Don't give a fuck. I love it though. Like it's great. And, and, and what was but killing they, me? They and, was like how he played that song four times purposely, as you know, as Brandon for the new the new Soldier song. Soldier, yeah. if you make it clap, clap. They said he played that purposely four times in a row 
as a way to just keep promoting his own well, shit. Well, yeah, nah. You know, he's king from promo. He's king, promo forever. king, yeah. But, oh, nah, Soldier was killing me. You um, When when Bow Wow was doing all the Destiny Child songs and all of that, he was like, all these songs is nice, but all these songs is old. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, he was killing me with that. He was like, this shit old. <laughs> Yo, I was laughing because I was kind of like, damn, these songs are pretty old. Like, you, you got Bow Wow, Bow Wow, 35 years old, rapping his the Destiny Child remix for all the well, fellas okay, and your okay, girls. Okay, so, so, I'll, I'll say this. I will say this. I feel bad for Bow. I feel, well, for Shad Moss. I feel bad for Shad Moss. Shad Moss. Because his whole life was built around the fact that you was a 13 year old rapper, mm-hmm. you were short as shit with the braids. All the girls loved you. You was just a young dude. So with Bow trying to grow up and put out grown music, we just never accepted it. Right. And if Bow would, if he would have came out early, I mean, um, at an older age, I mm. feel like he, we could have, we would have gave him that that ear. Like, okay, let's see what this nigga talking about. But because yeah. we know him as a little Bow Wow nigga, it, it kind of like it, it hurt him. It stifled him a little bit. And what's yeah. crazy is watching him perform. He's amazing on stage. Yes, dog. Like he, I not was that, like, yo, not, I, that, not that Harlem shake. I was just, okay, not the Harlem shake. Yeah, yeah, but I just mean, just, but just, but just the performance wise, horrible. like performance wise, because I, okay, we stage all know he's a better, amazing. We know that he's a better rapper than Soldier Boy. We all know that, so that wasn't even hard. Mm-hmm. But I just mean watching him command the stage and how he jumped and moved and moved, and I was like, yo, he's in a. I was like, man, I. I but damn didn't want to see he, a Bow Wow show. He he learned that from early. But you Millennial know, tour. He learned that right. from early, from long time. Right. Because you could tell, Jay, you perform. I perform. You, you, can, yeah. tell a, you can tell a professional, but the way he performed, it's like what well, you knew he did this before. Like, you yes, can just sure. see it. It wasn't just, you know how they be vibing on verses like yeah. da 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 da. Nah, Bow Wow knew what to say, how to say it, but stop. It was like, oh, it was it was nothing. I was like, man, this dude is really incredible, Bro. actually. I, <laughs> He put on a concert. It was a concert. Right. It was a concert versus a, a like what? Cool troll. It was great, man. It was so it was good. It was good. That's why I said that's why I said it's, it's my second favorite versus. Really yeah, no, I couldn't front. It was really it was good. After Beanie and Bounty, you always remember. But let's let's bring up this topic with the LeBron and the Kobe and the Michael. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Let's do it. I wanna uh yeah, go for it. Because y'all are tripping. So so Lil Romeo Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Lil Romeo that, Kobe Bryant. Okay, go ahead. I'll, I'll let you get it Lil, off. Lil Romeo. Let me let me not call him Lil no more because he's not Lil. He big as shit. Lil Rome, Romeo like Romeo. Romeo taller than me. Romeo is Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Who? Kobe, 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 Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Soldier Boy is LeBron James. LeBron James. And, and, and Bow Wow is MJ. And Michael Jordan. And, and you agree with this, Jay. The reason why I agree with it is because you need to understand the context in, which, in what's being said. And I hate us as people. We hear what's being said and we can understand, but because we don't agree with it, we just disagree completely. What he said was, in this little space of ours, at one time, Bow Wow, you were the Michael Jordan. Right. The kid mm-hmm. rappers with the braids and the, the all the girls, the fandemonium and Mr. 106 and Park, he was the Michael Jordan, right? So then here comes Lil Romeo. Romeo was the nigga who, I, 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 I don't know, because I don't know his life story, but he was we always like put him second. Drexler. No, we right. no, we always put him second. We always, we always put him second because we knew it. That he, we knew that he got in and just but, for the just for the fact that his daddy right. is Master P. And, but we also knew that he had somebody in front of him who was trailblazing, mm-hmm. right? Which was Michael he's Jordan. Like he's more like so. Clyde that's where I think the Kobe <laughs> reference comes in. Now the reason why LeBron is um, Soldier Boy, and it was a perfect reference to me. Yeah, this man came in disrupted the game changed everything changed right. all the parameters i'm gonna tell you how to make money now i'm gonna tell you about the social media shit. i'm gonna tell you about this dancing and making number one hits forever type shit. right he right. did change and disrupted the game like what lebron did so I is that get the, the space i get the I soldier boy i get the soldier boy lebron 
But I think the yo real quick, we laughing because Barry like, nah, that nigga was Clyde Drexler. <laughs> like, that's what I'm just saying. That's what we laughed at. Like that's what that was ain't funny. that funny. It was Sorry, funny because it was the way he said it though. He's like, nah, he's like this nigga more Clyde, like Clyde Drexler. He's more like Clyde. <laughs> like, like, you say it like that. Listen, he's more like Clyde. But anyway, well, it, 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 to me, it was a great analogy. I, I get it. It's just Romeo ain't nowhere near Kobe. That, that's that's the ridiculousness. It's oh, like, but, but, but once a, once a, that's why I keep saying like you need to think think of the reference. If we're talking I about mean, the three greatest basketball players ever, and all I can do is pick those three, one has to be Michael Jordan, one I has mean, to be LeBron, and one has to look. Be Kobe. Romeo could be Ben Simmons, nigga. All I'm trying to listen. I ain't no. Listen, I, I, I ain't gonna violate home. You know, yeah. like Ben Simmons is trash. <laughs> Oh, say that one more time, Willow. I can't. I can't say Little Romeo was trash. I can't no, no, say no. that. What did you say? He was just. He was just a kid. Who is trash? Ben, ben Simmons. Simmons. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Benjamin I Simmons. Just, I just wanted to make sure. He's boo boo. To be honest with you, I never fucked with anybody named Benjamin. Yo, yo. He's <laughs> if we're being honest. Right okay, we gotta stop it. Because Andre who, Three Stacks who goes Benjamin? by Andre Benjamin. No, 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 no. I'm but his name is Andre. He been jacking Ben Simmons for the longest pause. Now all of a sudden he's really? trash. I didn't know this. Well, okay, Barry. So what we're you not gonna do with... is say. Oh, oh, cool. So what we're not gonna do is say all of a sudden. We spoke about this two weeks ago, and I told you Ben Simmons was trash. So don't bring it up on Willow Wednesdays now. Try to make it seem like all of a sudden. Like, all right, that's one of his points. For the past couple of weeks, he's been don't do like, that. yo, nah, this nigga's trash. For the past okay, couple of weeks. I didn't know you was a Ben Simmons fan. That's all. My bad. You see, he was. He was. You was. see, you see that shit through the whole show off. Like Ben Simmons is that bad. <laughs> like, niggas is like, wait, what? Hold on. You, Hold you, on. You mean you mean you mean the playoffs? You mean the playoffs? Yeah. I, not, not the show not, off. Not the show That's what off. he just said. Yeah, he, he said yeah, the he show off. Yeah, the show off. <laughs> <laughs> what okay. the fuck is the show off? At the um, end of take, the day, take, take that alcohol away from him. <laughs> take I, that bottle. <laughs> no, I said he threw the show off us because now oh, we're talking no. about it. Shut the fuck out of here. I mean, because now we're talking about it. That's how bad Ben Simmons is. We had to stop uh, talking about Bow Wow and Soldier uh, Boy to give reference uh, to how trash Ben Simmons is. Okay. Nah, because you said point. Clyde Drexler and then. That was Barry Joe. Simmons. No, I said he looked like, he like more like Clyde. I said, I said. <laughs> It was the way he said, I'm sorry. You know how they can say uh, something. It wasn't, it wasn't the fact it that It wasn't a I great said, joke, was, but it was just the way that he I said, said it. I, I was said, like, you no, know, it's one I of those. Said, he more like Clyde. <laughs> it, it, it's, all right, whatever. Forget that. Long, long story short, I agree with the analogy. I, I think that Romeo. For the sake of it. He, bro, for the he, sake gave, of, he, bro, he, he gave everybody their flowers. It, it was a great moment. It for, was a beautiful moment. For hip hop, it was, and it may not be the the the, the quote unquote prototypical hip hop that everybody thinking of, oh, but right. they did have a movement, and an era, and a space where everybody remembers, and yeah. that was a great moment for that space. I, I like I said, I was thoroughly entertained. It was dope. No, it was Actually, definitely great, and and it's weird yeah, because a I'm a little older, time. so I kind of see it as kid hip hop, but yeah. but watching. Watching how everyone grew, especially Bow Wow, man. Like he he went from just a a kid, just doing kid stuff to making kiddie songs to like growing up and becoming like a man in front of our eyes. And shit, mm -hmm. Lottery Ticket, one of my favorite movies. I love Lottery. That Ticket. shit is fire. Like I love it. So to watch that man grow up and and even just to be given his flowers, I think so. Cause I I think that it's a good thing because. We always like you. You you just referenced it. I'm having this whole conversation, pouring a drink. Um, <laughs> you, you just referenced it, but we all look at him like our little brother. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. little bow wow. So it, it was cool. Um, one of my friends told me that he didn't like the fact that bow wow was cussing. I'm like, you know, because bow wow talked like a real nigga. He a real nigga. And I'm like, nigga, bow wow, yeah. 35. Facts. How do you expect that's him to talk? Ass, that's a grown ass old man. Grown ass man with kids. <laughs> like what you talking mm -hmm. about? Yeah. So he was like, it feel weird. I'm like, let that go. Bow Wow, a couple years. But honestly, us. I, I like I said, if you do something so young, you get stuck in that space, right? right? Well, yeah, every time I see the nigga, every time I see the nigga who play Harry Potter, he got a bunch of TV shows now. Every time I see it, I'm like, you, you fucking Harry Potter, bro. Like, there's right. nothing you can like, do. Look at Harry Potter. To, right. To, exactly. And and that's how I feel about Lil Bow Wow. Like, he's like, no matter what this nigga can do, 
he just gonna be stuck in the space where he's always little bow wow. You just don't know the way he moves so fast, the raws the flow. Like no matter what he do, like all the time. Yeah, that point. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta finish. Gotta finish, yeah. finish the phrase. Gotta finish the phrase. <laughs> Um, Represent but no, man, it was very hey, good. Hey, show him the shoulder. Show him the Harlem shake. I just wish hey, I wish hold, Soldier Boy would have went. Um, hold, oh, really? Hold. That's, a, that's a real move? No, 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 no. Because no. Bob Wow's Harlem shake was bad. <laughs> Bro, that it was, was a like Columbus, Staten Ohio Island. shake. That was more like Staten Island. I don't know what kind of Harlem <laughs> Damn, shake that was. Yeah, that was a Staten Island shake? Staten Island shake. That's that fucked up. Like <laughs> yeah, he did some wild shit. He to put on some weight. His shoulder's too thick. You know nah, what I'm saying? Bro, it ain't that. That Harlem shake. You got thick crazy. shoulders. Can you Harlem shake? Harlem shake. I can move my Your shoulders face. a little thick for that, you? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we see it. We see it. <laughs> my, Harlem, my, my shoulders move. Uh, shout out to New York thing. I don't know where he from. He from Virginia. Where he, where uh, he from? He from Columbus, Ohio. He's from Columbus. Yeah. Yes. He's from Ohio. No, he's from Ohio. I thought I was joking. It's called a Columbus, Ohio shake. <laughs> no, he's from Ohio. Yeah, yeah. Bow wow. American he's not Ohio. from Atlanta. Mm -mm. Yo. He moved he to Columbus. Atlanta. Yeah. No, nah, but do you know that? I mean, he, they moved. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Come I, we on, know man. Story. Mr. 106 in Park is You didn't back, know this? Nigga. No, I really didn't know that. I, like I said, Bar listen, Bar I'm, old enough to remember, I'm old enough to remember Bow Wow when he was on Arsenio, and he was like a, a four-year-old, and he was rapping Snoop lyrics. Like, he's been in the game for life. So, I mean, you I'm happy for him, man. And it was a great Shit. fucking versus. Um, just uh, as we get to the next one, real quick, um, Nori was calling out Beanie Siegel for versus. Don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. No. We next. 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 Okay. Watch. Nah. It's not gonna be. A, it's the, not gonna the fuck are they gonna do? When you yo, Dane, when you first said it to me, I said, mm, "Why? Because it's not gonna be something entertaining. Yeah. It's not Nobody won't watch that shit." Uh, Yo, Nori, nobody wants to watch that shit, okay? Damn, Stop what it. you going to do? Shh, nothing. Not, what you trying not to watch do? it. Shh, nothing. Not watch it. <laughs> I mean, because Nori got to find somebody. Nori, one of the biggest media personalities in the world right now. Bro, so so. Then Nor Nori and Joe Button, how about that? Line it up. The fuck are we talking about? 20 joints, though. Neither does Nori. That was the crazy part, cause I was like, he don't either. Like in my head, I'm like, honestly, Beanie got twenty. You the could fuck? do. Like, I don't no, care, I'm, but you could do twenty Beanie songs, cause he was with the Rock and you know features and the whole shit. I'm, I'm not. Know. I don't. I don't think Nori wants to hit twenty Nori records. <laughs> like twenty. Yeah, cause even when he did in he a row. He was talking this shit. He's like, "What you gonna do when I play this? What you gonna do when I play that? What you gonna do?" And I was like, "Yeah, but you only mentioned five. Like, I was like, hey." What about the other fifteen? I don't, yeah, that, I don't know. It's gonna be all freestyles. Pressure drop, Dame. <laughs> well, what? One more, one more, one more, one more. Old school. Um, Keith Sweat. Um, fuck. Who was it? Oh, I'm so pissed. I forgot. It was Keith Sweat against somebody. But all right, whatever. Pressure drop. Wait, 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 wait. I know. Wait, wait, wait. I, I will say this. Since I now you got it. me thinking. You got me thinking R and B. Right. Was it? I saw the thing. I will put, I will put Tyrese up against almost anybody. Okay, then I got put one. Twenty. Then I got one. I got one then, because I was trying to figure out who should go against Music Soul Child. I absolutely mean. Don't Purple don't don't, don't don't disrespect Tyrese. Tyrese would destroy Music Soul Child. That's what you think. Twenty. Bro. Twenty. You really don't know Music Soul Child like that. Twenty. Me so I got don't don't vlog. don't get me frustrated, bro. I think I'm with no, it. No, 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 but Willa, I'm gonna go I think front. I'm gonna set it up. You, I, I, I can't. I'm not gonna speak on it, but I want to call and set that up. But, 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 music soul child has a lot of neo soul shit that we legit do no, not no, listen to. You, you, you can't say. Okay, I don't cool. know how you, much. You, you, wait, wait, wait. One thing everybody here knows about me: my music library is stupid. I got a MacBook or with. 30, 40,000 songs on it. Real shit. Like, I listen to a, a lot. I don't music think so that Music Soul Child will have to, to keep us entertained, the public, 20 of them? No. No, I sir. I knew we got 20. I knew we got 20. Mm -mm. But that's just me, because I'm, a, you know, you know, Neo Soul, that's my shit. But Tyrese, I can't, I, I can't think of 20 Tyrese songs. Oh. So leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. We're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there. Leave it there. 
Yeah. So for the people listening, put in the oh, comments, you know what man. Y'all what y'all should do? Y'all should do your own verses. Need. Music show child versus Tyrese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I do a versus, I'm playing Jay Willow all night and Dame playing Damo all night. Fuck these yeah. niggas. Nah, that's true. Ooh, I'm my bad. So have your own versus. It's true. Then. Yo, but um, great idea. Um, you want to do a versus? No, no, y'all remember Taz? I was about to say. No, no, Taz, Taz had this as an idea for 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 a um don't, don't for a game show. Name. No, don't I'm say don't say saying her name, Taz. Shit. I said don't say it out loud. Now we ain't talking about well, it. Well, no. We can still do this. So how about we talk about it? Let's, no, 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 fuck you, Bobby. I want to hear this. We could, we want to hear it. When, when Versus first came out, me and Taz was like, that's dope. She was like, but the problem with, with Versus is that they don't know which songs to play. She was like, so what should happen is you should represent that artist. And you throw the song as they throw the song. So you as like, like that should be the show. Like imagine Versus between me and you, Jay. And boom, you take Tyrese and I take Music Soul Child. And we battle each other because we know what the fuck to play. You know what I'm saying? As the fan. Them as okay. the artists, you know, sometimes the, the, the songs don't be cultivated right. We're like, why would you play that? That don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? True. Imagine imagine having an artist in your back pocket and they there with you. you, you you're, rep, you're the representative of, of their team or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And you get to mm -hmm. throw the song. Like imagine, let's just say Jay-Z against Nas or whatever. Fire. So Nas play a song Jay -Z on me. I, I'm repping Nas. Nas up. But you know what I'm saying? Sure. And I'm not, I, I, maybe or maybe not. But what Ooh, I'm saying is. Hey, hey I, I'm going to be real with you. I went back on that Jay Z and Nas thing. And I'm not going to lie. You, I'm a whole fan of Nas. But Nas does have a very, 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 very strong 20, bro. It's Nas. He has a very strong 20. All right. I don't even want to. I'm going to just leave this alone because. Y'all not about to give me my Illmatic bag. That whole album. Next topic. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> because right, not tonight, Satan. <laughs> yeah, I, I not. never said that whole was losing. But. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, nigga. So we, All right. <laughs> All right. Next topic. Blow out. Oh, now you're well on. You're well on. You're well on. Okay. Hey, man, play the damn song. He's wildin'. Mediator, um, moderator, roll call, selective yeah. decision, temporary lover, <laughs> highly toxic, half a gas station, Phil Barbie. What the fuck are we talking about? This, this is the mature Willow Wednesdays. Um, because <laughs> this would be no, nah, fuck that. <laughs> it's the mature. This is the mature. We 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 did it. I'm proud what? Of us. I'm proud of us. What advice on. would you give a woman in a relationship right the fuck now? Wow. Right. I wasn't expecting that one. So, you know, a lot of times we give a lot of single people advice or situationship advice. But you know what? We're going to give advice to a young lady right now in a relationship. In a relationship. As a young lady right now, she has a man or, he, or, 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 or a, a lady as a partner. And she's looking for advice on her relationship. Just something general or like we know some details? Cause you can know some details. What would you, mm -hmm. as men, what would you give her advice on in a relationship. It can you go easy. first? You want who you want me to go can first? Can you go first? Will you want to rock paper scissors? No, nigga, you go first. Fuck, all right. <laughs> you kinda know I kinda know I kinda want to hear what you say and then it's like, oh okay, I kinda know what you mean. Oh, why? Cause who the fuck am I to give you some advice about some shit that I don't understand? Like, I, I, um, I, you know, I'm okay. thinking too deep about it. So advice. let me understand. You're definitely, like, you're definitely thinking way too deep about it. Yeah, I'm it's, like, ad, it's advice, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, what the fuck? What advice yeah, do you have? Yeah, advice I will <laughs> give a young lady. Um, believe what he says. Mm. Okay. Should have been down. If, if that young man says this is how he feels, take what he says as how he feels. Mm. Okay. Because a lot of times women will take or ask a man how he feels and then hear what he says and then still interpret it as something completely different from what he said. When no, I told you how I felt and what it was. Hmm. You're my girl. You're my girlfriend. You're my lady. Right. This is how I feel. This is what I'm feeling. This is what I think. And you'll still take that and go left with it. No, 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 no. I said what I said, and this is what I feel, and this is what I meant. Hmm. We already have a problem communicating as men. So now when I finally do communicate, you're going to take it and spin it to something else? No. Mm. This is what I said. This is what I mean. This is how I feel. 
take what that man says and believe it because he said it to you. That's what that, that that's so, okay. I, that's, I'm with that. that's solid. That's, no, solid. that's solid advice. Yeah, yeah. Wow. All right. I got one. Okay. Go ahead. Let me hear this. Everybody is not the person who hurt you. Mm. Mm-hmm. And that's, mm. that's my advice. Honestly, that could be advice for anybody, but we're, we're talking about one thing right now. So everybody or every man or woman is not that man or woman that hurt you, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I don't want to say that everybody just carries baggage onto the next situation or the next relationship, but we all we all have been in a situation where something reminded us of something of right. something that has happened, right? So what we do, we automatically just start moving funny, or we move in, we get defensive and protective. Or we feel away, or we move away because of something, right? What I will say is, every man is not that man that hurt you. True. And that's my advice. Well, that's one of my. I got, I got a bunch of them, but that's one. I of got them. a, cu- I got a couple too. I want to go again. What, Dame? You got one? Yeah, but mine not as good as y'all's. Um, Whatever it is, man, it could be simple you know. shit. <laughs> Don't drop the soap. <laughs> don't don't eat don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> I mean, it's valid. It's valid. <laughs> okay. um, Whatever, give it. Give it this, this I I personally think you can move on from cheating. Okay, that's advice I would give, or at least I would want to say that to some. Like I would love to say that to a person in a relationship. Like you. Can, so you question. Can get, you can get past cheating. Like it. Like it is possible. Like okay, it's not no, like no, you no, cheat. I, it's that's, over. That's, 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 I've done Question. That. I think you can get past it. Your daughter comes to you and say, Daddy, he cheated on me. Yes. Your message would be like, oh, you, you get over that, babe. It, it, ooh, ooh, ooh. It depends on where she's at. It's circumstantial. Right. It yeah. depends on how That's old valid. she is. It, it depends is on how old she is and where she's at in the relationship. And what's, and, and what, um, and you know, what, the circumstances of, of, of right. how it happened and what's going on. Right. Like, if she's um, 19, 20, baby, mm, on to the next. Yeah, come you on move now. on. But we talking about 31, 32, 33. Yeah, it's you like, mid-30s right. and some shit happened. And it's like, all right, honestly, what happened? Honestly, I would have to know the circumstances. And then I'll, even with the circumstances, it depends on how long y'all been together mm-hmm. and what y'all done been through together. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and You've been with somebody for 10 years, and the situation happened with an old love that he used to be in love with before he met you. And some some shit rekindles, and something happens, and he's apologetic and sorry, and and he'll never make that mistake again. It's like I, I could be like, well, people fuck up, you know what I'm saying? We can move past, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I, I'm just giving it. That's just an example. I mean, I people that, do I fuck up. I get it. Yo, I said, I said, yo, the problem is people don't. And this alludes to my next one, ladies. The, my next advice is allow that man the grace to make a mistake. Mm. Yeah. A lot of times. A lot of times, especially in this day and age, people don't give people the wiggle room to just fuck up. Right. No, because we're supposed to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? But And this is, like Willis said, this is not necessarily just a woman for a man. This could be for both parties. But at the same like, time, if y'all... Well, if your wife cheat on you, you divorcing her? Whoo, she and me, like 95%, yeah. But do you see what I'm saying? So that, that five, we're going to have to talk about it. But that, but but that's but that's my point. You know what I'm saying? Like you 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 leaving with your remember, with your girl? From where he was to oh, we got five percent. We got five percent. He was a hundred percent. You got five percent. He, he, I'm, he I'm gro- some- listen, I'm growing. I'm growing. <laughs> it's <laughs> growth nonetheless. You feel me? That's we got five percent, baby. baby. <laughs> but this, but this, that's so hilarious. This I'm growing, baby. I'm <laughs> I be at work a lot of times, right? And and. Being in relationships, yeah, and that's funny. Other people talking, even you, when you talk about cheating on the show, yeah, a lot. Of times, I'm like, yo, I say to people all the time, the work cheating is not the worst thing that can happen to us. No, the right? worst thing you could do to me is steal. <laughs> like, I would be more pissed that you just stole my shit. Like, you know what I'm saying, but I say all the time, cheating is not nigga. the worst thing that happened in a relationship, right? And I say, you know what's crazy? I said, ladies, a lot of times y'all don't allow the man the grace to just fuck up. Period. Just but doing is, something, but it's fuck up cheating. That's wrong, and 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 and. Good question, Dame. 
but th- but this is what I'm saying. Because fuck up is you can forget to pay a bill and the phone get cut off. You know what I'm saying? But that's a, but that's no a cheating, great question. But but this is it's all relative to the relationship, right? If you and this young lady are monogamous in your relationship, Word. and you say, hey, this we're with each other and only each other. Got you. And then you get caught in a situation where you know what you step outside of the relationship. Whole lot of words. You fuck somebody else. I'm, being, I'm <laughs> trying to be nice. Real clear. But you step outside the relationship, you fuck somebody else, yes. right? Now. Does that mean that this man is a terrible man and he ain't shit? No, he fucked up. He did a he did a he did something that he shouldn't have done, and in the moment he did it, but now he regrets it and he's apologetic about it. Does that mean that he you should fuck up the whole relationship, throw this shit to the bomb because the nigga cheated, or fuck somebody no. else? I, well, 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 well. Nick, okay. But I, but I was leading you down a path. But that goes also for women as well. But that's what I'm saying. That, seem, we got to talk. But but that's I don't what I'm saying. Make it seem if, like that, it's if that if that happens, excited. if that also happens for you though. How you feel? She cheated. You know what I'm saying? It's, that I'm shouldn't not, fuck up. You know what I'm me, saying? We got to leave room for women to course, fuck up. Course, you know? And for, me, and for me, where I'm at now in my life, before I, cheating was something that I would never forgive. But now where I'm at, I'm more open to the conversation of moving past that point and seeing if we can move forward. Because why? Because I can't sit. One thing I can't be is corny and fake. I've, I've always prided myself on that. So I can't sit here and say, yo, I could fuck up possibly and get some different pussy. Maybe if I, if I'm not saying that I'm going to, but you people fuck up. So now if she does, she's human the same way. So if she ends up fucking somebody else because just, let's say me and her beefing for a while and she's just longing for someone else to do something that I should have been doing. Mm-hmm. I can't be mad at that because if the world's roles were reversed, I would have wanted to do the same shit, and I've done the same shit. So I can't, ju- I can't be, I can't sit here with the with with the, with the hand of God and strike down judgment on somebody. I, I, I definitely the get same it. Shit. You know what I'm I saying? definitely I get it. I feel like that's so. You gotta allow it's people corny. To, allow people the grace to make mistakes. You have to, right? Because if you gonna sit here with that almighty almighty hand like that, you know what? You better not never ever fuck up ever in a relationship. Sure, because women cheat all the time. They just call it vacation. Huh? <laughs> That's uh. <laughs> huh. Hello, my phone rings. Uh, yeah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking huh. about? What are we talking about? <laughs> we going on vacation. <laughs> right. Gotcha. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, legit. Some men don't even allow their girl. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to go on vacation. <laughs> like, oh no. And it would be a, no no no, but cause my mom was <laughs> you know what? But y'all re, y'all remind me of the same thing. You know how like y'all go somewhere every year? You know what I'm saying? You say right, you go right, on a right, cruise right, every right, year. Right, right. It didn't dawn on me till I grew up. <laughs> like, <laughs> My mama would be saving for the crew, the cruise, every year, and, they, and her her homegirls would go out every Damn. year, whatever. Some you know how I go. Chill out. Nah, and so <laughs> what happened one time? This is it's a funny story. Came Sorry. Back walking funny. Nah, one time. No, oh. no, 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 no. One time she um, you know how you just want to see your mama's pictures, you know, mm-hmm. and it was the first. I was like, I was man, I was mad. I was six. I'm six seven. Young, 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 young. Just happy to see, oh, you went on vacation. That's cool. Let me see some pictures. And I never forget, because back then, you know, the Polaroids and shit, she thumbing through the Polaroids, and then she was like, nah, with these, you can't see. And then I was like, oh, okay. Was it? Nah, nah, that's another one. You can't see, you know, because that's, that's like, you know, swiping left and shit, nigga. But it would always be some dudes. <laughs> like, Swanging. <laughs> like, it would be dudes in pictures. And I was like, and I was like, so, mama, who's this? And she'd be like, oh, nothing, just some gentleman I met. And I'm like, mm-hmm, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Yo, and it, it and the funny part about that is it never dawned on me until I got older. And then you go on vacation and all the women is with it. It's kind of like swanging. <laughs> Eyes closed. You know, you're swanging. Like, ah. <laughs> so it was the same in the 80s, nigga. Yes, it is now. It's, yeah. Women Willie, don't gotta, cheat, they just go on vacation. Willie, you got another you got another piece of advice you'd give a woman in a relationship? <laughs> talk to me, talk to me. You got another one. I know you do. Uh yeah, uh, I do. Um better tweet that. <laughs> women don't cheat, they just go on vacation. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> um a piece of advice that I would have to a woman in a relationship. Stop assuming. Mm. Sheesh. Hold on. What? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> what? Nah, I like that one. I like that one. I got another one too. But uh, I like that stop, one. Stop assuming. And what? No, I fuck. Two things that blow mine. Mm, not one, but Pe- two. Yeah, the two things that really blow my shit. People who lead with the um the fucking horoscopes to say who you are as a person. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God. I was just about to. Bro. I saw the meme. It was a meme with a dude. <laughs> it was wait real quick. It was a little kid, and he was spraying the little kid in the face, <laughs> and it was what? like me. <laughs> and then the little kid, <laughs> it said people that assume blah, 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 like what you just said, but he was spraying the little kid in the face. This shit was hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, no, I'm with it. Fuck that. Don't be leaving. So that's, nah. that's, that's one thing I hate. People who leave with horoscopes to judge you as a person. Okay. The other thing I hate is, um, and I, I fucking had it. I kind of lost it because they didn't want to go into a fucking spiel about memes. Sorry. Damn it. What's the second one I had? Oh, got you. The second one I have is people who get half of the story or oh. a third of the story or they get something that they may think is the story and then they create the rest of the story. Uh, right and and now their thoughts become fact right oh my god it's so not even, so, if, so if, this if is I advice were, to yes, advice if, 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 to if, not if do I that. were yeah if i were to be talking to a young lady and she's like you know what you're the relationship gurus i'm in a relationship what the fuck can you tell me about my relationship or what kind of what kind of advice would you give mm-hmm. i would definitely say do not assume do not, not take like, one piece of a tenth of a story that you yeah. think that you may have, and then you formulate the other ninety yeah. percent. And it's now not you even have like this you get... whole concoction of a story that don't yeah. fucking make sense. It's not even like you get seventy-five percent of it. You get half, or maybe thirty or twenty-five. You don't even get They're majority like, oh, of it. You went out on Monday. Like, so that okay, means you fucked the girl. Mm. And you're like, whoa, wait a minute, oh, whoa, whoa, how? Right. <laughs> Cause I went out on Monday. You got one right. part right. <laughs> I did. Let's not Monday. assume <laughs> and formulate a story. Right. But more importantly, let's not hold that story as fact. Right. Yeah. That's that's the to me that's the main key. You got you got another one. I got another one. So the question is, what would we tell the lady? Yes. What advice would yeah. you give her? Okay. I just want to make sure we're not we're not women bashing. Of course, no, no, no. This is helping them. So to be honest, I, I don't think I'm. I, I don't. I don't feel like we're women bashing. Yo, bro, I don't think you should leave it like that. Mm. Okay. Yo, good job. Wow, good I didn't job. even peek. Cool. <laughs> um, you have another one? I don't. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, another one I have is, sweetie, baby, love you dearly, whoever you are. Mm, you can't do that because that 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 connotation already, it's it's a negative connotation you just gave, Barry. Yeah. Okay, but don't do that. They're not your sweetie and your baby. You're right. They are human beings. Young lady, <laughs> come on shout now. Shout out to you. You're awesome and amazing. But sometimes your feelings aren't the only one that matters. Mm. But all feelings matter, Bari. Don't yeah, but I don't know. I kind of feel like we'll, th- that's going to go into a different topic. No, 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 no. But a lot of times when... Because we talked about that before. Know, no, but... Relationships are really about the woman's feelings. True. But in order... If we're giving advice to a young lady... I agree. To help prosper her relationship for real... Okay. You have to give her advice from our perspective, right? Okay. Oh, I got another one. Oh. The reason why I say that you know, is you know, this, of, this is too much fun. We got to stop. No, it is. It, it, it is. <laughs> this I is so there. fun. <laughs> but a lot of times when people go into arguments, they think, oh, I feel like this. And because I feel like this, this is how I feel. And this is. But the way you feel can change because once you realize how the other individual feels, you could be like, damn, not for nothing. I'm being a little selfish or I'm being a little over the top or well, I'm being yeah. a little melodramatic. Yeah. Be- I'm- so based off of that, your feelings aren't the only one that matters in a situation. And a lot of times people, I'm using the word people because this can go both ways. People take that and, and make it seem like their feelings are the only one that matters in a relationship with a significant other. More times than not, women. I so feel like this, so you got to do this. Right. Right. When right. not realizing how, instead of you saying, yo, how does my man feel? And then once you realize how your man really feels, you're like, shit. Not for nothing, maybe I'm bugging a little bit. Maybe I need to check myself and realize that, yo, I'm being a little over the top. Maybe I'm wilding. 
because this nigga has a valid because if if this was me and i felt the way he felt i would be od tight but because i'm over here being and complaining he just doing it to shut me the fuck up i think so that's all i think a lot of these will be solved if we go with um like the first shit you said what me yeah and we said i forgot what i said you need to listen to what they say when they say it and the reason i say that that's important is that was um, a good one that's a great one because because no a lot of times men don't speak on how they actually feel Um, facts and so a lot of times so it's just i'm just noticing a pattern everything that y'all y'all saying is kind of like just listen to your nigga (laughs) (laughs) it's kind of like it's kind of like like what it's kind of like what you would say to the woman who isn't listening to you and not paying attention and only kind of like selfishly doing her part but sorry we the devil's advocate this real quick i kind of be on the women's side for the most part because of what because where we are i'm an expressive guy y'all know that we've uh, jay you an expressive dude Mm-hmm. Barry, you're an expressive dude. We we are people who do tell you know we tell you how we feel, we, but we but it's just a, but, got here. But it's still a difference. Well, I mean, me, I've been here my whole life, but no, I get but it. I'm I get saying, it. <laughs> but but what I'm trying know, to say is, but what I'm trying to say is, women don't typically date us. As, they don't. You know what I'm saying? They don't date they us. They really don't. They date. And even you know what I'm that, saying? Like I'm they not, they they I'm date guys getting, that don't tell them things. Bro. So 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 wait. So I'm I'm only fighting with so so like when Jay said assume the rest. They have to assume the rest because what else they got. Because you're not giving them the information. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You they have to finish the story because you're not giving them the rest of the story. They have to no, assume. No, 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 I, I disagree. I disagree. I'm sorry. No, the I police, disagree. when when they get a part of the story, they investigate and they do their due diligence to get the whole story. What I'm speaking story. to, what I'm speaking to is the fact that you may have or may think that you know something and you concoct a, a whole story instead that of you you're investigating. Now, you're, but but now they're holding you against it. Like, oh, you did this because I cause I I well, we're West Indian, like right? We're, we're West Indian. And one thing I fucking hate from fucking West Indian is Jesus Christ. They have dreams. Oh, I had a dream of fish. <laughs> so somebody <laughs> pregnant. I had a dream of right. um, this. So somebody cheating on somebody. That to me is asinine. Like, that's bullshit, bro. You're not going to just think of some shit and now now all of a sudden right. I'm a no, I'm a low down, dirty nigga who cheating all over the place. Like, it shouldn't work even, that way. I wasn't even there when you was dreaming. That's crazy. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it, it, it shouldn't be like that. And I feel like far too often it is. So that's why my advice still stands. And Stop assuming. One last one. Uh oh, we got one, one last one. one. Wait, you can't skip. You're going to double up. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say one last one and that was it. I don't know how many more you had. Pause. I got one more. You're just going to double up on oh, me? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Go okay, ahead, get yours off. Get yours off. Get yours off. 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 My fault. I apologize. You're right. You're right. You're right. My bad. Mm, mm. Mm. He forgot. He forgot. No, I, no, I didn't. I, no, I, I didn't. My my last piece of advice, honestly, was the world does not revolve around you. Mm. Oh, I like that one too. Mm. I like that one a lot. And I love you, women, especially black women. I came from a black woman. I'm married to a black other. woman. You raising? I have a black woman child. Yes. The world does not revolve around you. Damn sure it don't. But it doesn't though. No. It don't. It don't revolve around me either. The fuck? Or me. It or don't you. revolve around me or you. Like, it we don't. We not the axis. The world don't guess tilt what? and roll around us. Yeah, not, you die, like, I die. Fuck? Guess what? The world gonna keep spinning and keep going. Hey man, listen. The world don't work until I wake up. Okay? That is oh. technically true. <laughs> Okay. Well, when I go to sleep, the world closes. <laughs> when I wake up, the world opens. <laughs> like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, what I, you respect talking? <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. No, no, I definitely understand. Um, <laughs> you guys may agree, may not agree with this one, but this is my last one. The advice get last I can topic. give you is try your best to make it a safe space for him to to express how he feels. Mm. Damn, bro. That's good. Yo, that is a good one. <laughs> that's okay. a motherfucking... Yo, because, that's a monster, bro. Because wow. a lot of times... 
That's try good. to make it a set. I'm and it's not the easiest way, but a lot of times huh. women say, "Yo, I want you to be expressive and I want you to tell me how you feel." And then when you do, you soft. You know what I'm saying? And or they'll take it at the It's not a safe time. space. Right. So at the present point oh. in time, it'll come off as something that's dope. And she like, damn, Shorty really fuck with me. She heard what I said and she listened to me and I could express myself. But the moment something goes left from what she's normally accustomed and used to, or she feels away with her own feelings. She going to bring it up. She weaponizes how you felt against you. That's why you was in the corner crying when your dad was beating up on your mom. You like what? Um, what the? This fuck? just trickled down. You just like your punk ass daddy. Whoa! Because wow. I don't yeah. want to go to the park. Because I don't want to go to the park. Wow. I just don't want to go to the park today. My knee hurt. You just like your punk ass daddy. What? Nah, what, no, baby? I'm sorry. Listen, I'm, that's valid, Barry. That's a good fucking point you just brought up. Because that's saying, done like, all too many times. I'm mm-hmm. like my punk ass daddy, cause what? I just don't feel like doing it today. I didn't say I don't feel like doing it ever. Just today, just today. So please, ladies. I, I think I, that's a good one. I think that's, that's a good ladies, one. So very. Ladies, ladies, I think that's a good one. Try your best to make it a a, a real safe space for mm. that man to be. Honest that one actually with got me quiet. Like I was thinking, you see, I'm, I'm in my head. head. I'm like, like shit. Because a lot of times, <laughs> and I'm not, and and this goes as well for men, yo, bro. I, Make this lady feel comfortable as possible. Make her feel safe to express herself. But I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be selfish in this moment because I, I feel like I can. Ladies, make that man feel as comfortable as possible to express how he feels. Truly how he feels. Why? Because... Yo, that's a good one, Barry. A lot of times, I've experienced it to this day. A lot of women will claim I want my king to be expressive, to communicate. Tell me how he feels. And then I've heard women say, yo, that's why you a piece of shit. You ain't shit. Fuck Listen, I, I remember I remember very vividly. I'm talking to one of my homegirls, and she's riffing about her relationship. Mm-hmm. And she started airing his dirty laundry out. Mind you, I don't know these things. Oh, he, he had the nerve to be sitting up there crying to me about blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's not really a safe space for that man. To, you want him to be expressive, and you want him to be emotional, and vulnerable. And vulnerable with you. I mean, and then when he does that, you weaponize, you, you that weaponize it. That, that's something that got to be adjust. What the yo, shit? We gotta talk thing, about that. Yo, Bari, thing. Bari, I, I think, I think you just stumbled upon your thesis yeah. for a book or a paper that you need to be come writing. On, I, this now. is good. I, this My is good. This is full, baby. I, yo, this bro, I think the number one thing that men hate of all, besides getting cheated on by women, of course, is them saying something to you that they really feel and you taking that and throwing that shit in they face. No, it, it, it goes back to the, the, the Kevin that, Hart joke, which is a joke, but... That shit hurt. Remember when, Pissing when in the bad ass, boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. bro. Remember when she was and she he was like I eat ass face on I eat ass face? Yeah. It's like, yo, he was like, it was your birthday. Like I mind you know what I'm saying? It's like, why would you say that? Mind you, in we public? all laughed, but I promise you, every single man knew Yes. Yeah. And felt that like yeah. fuck. We've all been, or maybe not. No, maybe, I've been there. I've I, I been, know I've, I could I've, be honest. I've been there. I've been in situations with you where I've seen things like that happen. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I, I've been in those situations listen, too. I, uh, I still want to fight. What's up? Yeah, that, mm. Okay then. <laughs> All right. We just had a friend moment. You talk about you yourself? <laughs> no, nigga. Fight? Your situation. Yeah. Oh, listen. It was bad because we, we all call it. It's just we yeah. all were there. If we weren't yeah. all uh-huh. there, you know, mm-hmm. situation. But, but, but this is my point. Listen. You want to make it. Oh, yo, listen, man. My cousins can fight. You make it a <laughs> <you're> <laughs> like yo. You know Hi, yes. Like? How you doing? <laughs> You know what it's like to have a wound for real? Like you have a scar. But no, but you like just really, you really did it. touch on something though. If, cause I remember when I was saying guys aren't that expressive. They're not. We're not. But we're not that expressive. Do. We're not it's that expressive. Fl- but then if we do get it. expressive and you weaponize that, I'm with you, dog. That is. It's that's, one of the most. That's dangerous. It's that's like, just that's, hurtful. 
Yeah, that's, that's and, for sure. And I and I exp- and I say this to women, women that I've dated and yeah. even homegirls all the time. I said I don't think y'all fully. Un-. They be like, oh nah, what you mean? I'd be like, yo, nah, I don't think you understand crazy. as a man what it feels like. That's what I'm saying. When like that actually finally, got me in my feelings for a second here. Finally, I am front. That's wow. like yo, you know what that's like. Damn. I, what's the small? I don't want to be extreme with it, but the sm- on a small scale, you'd be like, yo, you know, it took me a long time to learn how to ride a bike. Mm-hmm. Right? Like every other I'm game. afraid of birds. Yo, I'm afraid of birds. For the longest time, I've always been afraid of birds. Right. That shit's bugged me out, baby. You know? Like, I've always just been scared of them shits. Right. Like, legit. Every time you see me around a pigeon, you be like, why you move like that? It's because, legit, I have a I'm fear of birds. of birds. Right. Now, <laughs> me and you is arguing. You know, we just disagree on some shit. Bum ass nigga, that's why I'm you know you scared of birds. I'm gonna bring a pigeon in here and fuck your little yeah, dumb ass and, up. And, yeah, it's like why would you why would you do that? You know Don't don't weaponize my hurt. No, it's true. Don't that's weaponize it. my shortcomings. It's true. It's true. That's what that's that, bro, that, I, Barry, that, and, that was, you know that was a good point, Barry. That was bro. so fucking good. Like you got me in my that head. Because for the Does most it make part you think about how many times you've been your shit it's, has been it, weaponized against it's, you. It's 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 happened. Um I'm not gonna say that example, but I, <laughs> I I just know no no it's good, but I just know like times where like I've heard women say that guys do that. What weaponize the woman's hurt? Oh, now to yeah. be honest, I'm pretty sure there's fuck boys out there who do that. Of course, men. To do be that. honest, they real a real a neither. real guy wouldn't do that. Yeah, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be real with you. I a real know. guy would never be like, "That's why you got raped when you were six, you motherfucker!" Know like, you know what? Crazy? Facts. I, what? You know, Facts. You know what's crazy? Fuck you talking about? Man, you got to be a punk ass dude to yo, do some shit like that. No matter how ain't shit, it, I, no matter how ain't shit a dude is, I don't. You don't hear too many men still weaponizing the shit that a woman has gone through against. Them. Well, it, for the these, the, these and, new and, and millennial me be punk real. dudes, I like, know dudes that's yeah. and I'm gonna it's some soft ass crazy. dudes that be on. I that. know dudes that's ain't shit, right? They ain't shit. It is what it is. I know them. Yeah, I'm cool with some of them. But even with them being ain't shit, they will know something about a girl, and a girl has expressed things about them, and they still be like, "Yo, you see, that's crazy. You see how you talking crazy to me, but I still leave you alone. And I let you be because I could talk some wild shit about you, but I le- I let you live." That's facts. Mind That's you, facts. I know no matter how bad a girl has gotten with dudes, and dudes still, no matter how ain't shit he is, he'd be like, you know what? If I violate shorty like that, I'd be wrong, though. If I talk about how her mother is a crackhead, I'd be fucked up. If I was to. Her dad. But, so you want to be- know why? You want to know why? When women get mad, what's the, what's the saying? There's no, there's no wrath like a, a woman scorned. Right. Like, right. That's the saying? When a woman, bro, when a woman get mad, they, 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 they're coming for the win. Yeah. They're not playing. This is not for play. Yeah. And now, Period. Like, like we here to win like this like argument. Facts. And I'm not here to make it seem like we, we bash your women. Because I promise you, what I'm saying is, ladies, I want you and your relationships to work with all of your significant others and your partners. With whomever you have a partner with as a man. Please man. make it a safe space for that man to open up. Oh man, this shit got you. me all in my head. <laughs> because I promise you, we talked about real shit. I'm like, no I'm matter how much, let's like, say uh, you and fuck. that man could be moving crazy with you, but he will always have a certain level of of of. I honesty. won't cross that line. Right, he'll always have a certain level of honesty with you that nobody will ever meet. Why? Because you know what he feels like. Yo, I could tell this girl some shit, some real shit. And it's she a respect. Won't violate yeah, me. It's a respect thing. You know, because true say men don't, f- oh, don't men don't feel like women respect for real, and I didn't want to say that. All right. Yo, what happened? I missed it. You I know, don't feel though. like men feel like women will fully respect them for real because they all oh, women will always they feel like women will always cross the line in that regard. Well, that uh, mm, that's gonna take it somewhere else, right? And I didn't want to go there. That's why I said what I said. Yeah, no, <laughs> you know I'm saying, but else. that's gonna take it. it it's a, it's a it's a that's interesting. It's gonna take it. Let's not do it. Let's move on to the <laughs> last topic, <laughs> which is kind of in the same again, realm. It's relationship based, but uh, let's do ladies, this. So. Please take the advice, heed the advice that we're giving oh, man. because it's powerful things. And that topic got me all I in feel, my feelings. I feel like it'll help for <laughs> real. I, f- I personally feel like it'll help. Willa gave some dope advice. I feel like his advice will help for real. Dave gave some advice. I feel like it'll help for real. She Use got me it, all in my man. Head. Cause all right. 
We want these black relationships to prosper. So, Soldier Boy I, and Bow Wow. Wait, <laughs> um, I, I, real shit. I, I say, I say, we do this for the fellas next week. Yeah, let's Ooh. do that. Ooh, I'm gonna write. Yeah. I'm gonna write. I was just about to say, we don't write it write down. Niggas will not write remember. It nigga. Write it put down. Put it in the chat. Throw it in the chat. What? Put it in the chat. Advice. We gonna give to men. You know who's coming next week? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, hold it down, hold it down. Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. Just type the name of the person after you put that who's coming next week, because I don't know. Um, That'll be my last. Sorry, Sorry Dame. We, we making moves. Dame going to be gone. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be here. He going to be in Chicago. Or at least on the way back. I should be here. No, you're not going to be here. Mediator, moderator, road call, selective snitch, and temporary. That's next level, week? Always toxic. Half a gas station pill. Bro, <laughs> Barry, are you serious? What's the last topic? You're not gonna be here. It's all good. Um, that's for them. That's just for them. That's for them. That's for them. <sighs> once again, hey, real quick, once again, everybody, I want you to like and subscribe. Let me check my itinerary, nigga. This is some bullshit. My comment, palm pilot. Call comment. <laughs> I'm tired. Some shit that you love about Willow Wednesdays. If it's me. Game oh, Barry, game Barry, game. Let, let me let me let me pause you there briefly. What? 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 Yo, everybody on the YouTube, we got stickers. We got the um the oh. be a super fan. You can Facts. yo, there's so much shit that you can interact Lit. with. Just interact with us. Send us a sticker. Let us know if we're doing good. If we're doing bad, what you want to hear? Talk to us. Mm. What the fuck is going on? Mm-hmm. 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 I'm tired about that. I ain't front. Mm. Come on, boy. What are we talking about? Oh, I bet you press a drop. You press a drop. My bad. You worried about the wrong thing, Playboy. Well, uh, Wednesday. You know, hey, it's like dance up. Fellas. To my fellas. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> um, are you paying rent after you done broke up? So there's, there's a viral video that's out right now. Where a young lady's talking about how if you and her are dating and you know you're of a certain financial status and 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 you uplift her you you put her in a new crib and you buy her a car and you and her just you know as the relationship progresses you just don't work out with her right there's nothing wrong with that it happens but you and her are still cool of course she feels like you should still upkeep her lifestyle financially until she's either a able to find another man who's able to upkeep this lifestyle or she's able to financially keep it up herself so now the same young lady that i'm speaking on she had this situation is going on with her right now the man is paying the bills for her crib and her car and she's also dating a new man as well as a caveat to the whole situation we're going to come full circumference for it so Mm -hmm. fellas I want to know your opinion. Do you feel like you should, you're should? you obligated to pay these bills? One. Two, do you think she's wrong to even get these bills paid by this other individual while in a relationship with another man? Talk I would me, say Willa. this. Talk to me. Um, Talk to me. <clears throat> to that guy who's paying for her lifestyle and he's not with her, He's an idiot. It's a fucking dummy. To the guy who's with her Mm -hmm. while she's getting her bills paid by a next nigga, I feel like you shut up and ride it out. At Mm. the same time, if you have some boundaries that are set and you can believe in your partner enough that no lines are being crossed, then I say you go for it. I feel like if you as a man, you pay. If, okay, so if you're married, it's different. Of course, right? Because you're you're married. There's the documentation. Um, if 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 you give somebody a certain lifestyle, you have to upkeep that lifestyle. That's what spousal spousal support is. Um, if you just my girl or whatever the case may be, and I just got it like that, and I'm out here living life, I don't have to upkeep your life. Your beat. Not at all. So figure it out, sure. They ain't got shit to do with me. But if I was with a woman and she's like, listen, babe, this nigga here, 
he just he's just gonna continue to pay my bills. I don't know. There's a thing with him. Everything is covered. He feels like to be a real nigga, if, he feels like he should just if I feel him. like I can trust you hundred percent and I know you're not giving the pussy up in exchange for that bread, then we can talk about it. Because and I feel like if, that's if your yeah. shit is covered, if your shit is covered, that means I got more money in my pocket. So if this nigga dumb enough to just keep giving you bread and you're not giving nothing in return, then let's reap these benefits. Let's go on vacations. Let's go get that car. I don't give a flying fuck. Let's do it. But if you're giving us some pussy, then yeah, and then that's, that's a problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, bad. I was just chime back in. I was I feel like trying um, to make sure I was gonna be here. I feel like it's a it's a it's a regional thing. Mm. Because I'm in agreement with Willa, mm. and I feel like the reason why it's a regional thing Region. because people from New York. It's always about the finesse and it's always about the come up, right? Okay. So because of that, I've dealt with women who have been milking dudes from the from now to forever and kingdom come. Right. And I've eaten off of the fact that a girl is milking a dude for money and for food and for all these other great things that she just wants. And because she fucks with me, I got PC off of the fact that, yo, I was broke and I was hungry. She's like, yo... I'm about to go to my friend's house. Mind you, he don't know it's me, so he'd order her and her friend something to eat. I definitely understand milking for food. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this nigga is... <laughs> no, it's funny because it's so true. <laughs> yeah, like, this nigga's corny. <laughs> they mean but, shit, bro. But even they with that, right? Shit. A lot of times, but this is, I don't know if Willa thinks the same way I do. And the key word he, the key thing he said is if you trust your partner enough. I'ma always think that yo, if a nigga is oh, because if it were me, if I'm paying all your bills, I know for a fact that at some point in time he's gonna be asking for something. He's gonna be asking for some type of pussy, some type of time and attention from you that I don't want him to ever have if he's an ex. But valid. Who? Who are you to say no to someone who is paying all of your bills? Why? Because at any point in time this man calls your phone, you gotta pick up the phone. Why? Because he's paying your he's paying your he's paying your rent, he's paying your light, he's paying your gas, and he's um, paying your car note. So guess what? That I don't like the way that sounds. It I, sounds I, I, crazy, but if that I'm, nigga I'm is to, I'm I'm about to change my stance now. Well, no, so well, no, me, no, me, no, 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 but it, you have to put it in real perspective, right? So because I don't like of that, the way that if, sounds but if this nigga is if this nigga's paying all of your girl shit and that nigga call your girl phone at 11.45 at night. What? She gotta, an- she gotta answer the phone. So then I disagree with everything I just said She got earlier. to. Because I mean, he paying so the I, bills. I, I, I personally, okay. I, I so, so, he paying it. Nah, but, he all right. paying that. Real quick, real you quick. You don't answer my phone, I mean, that shit cut, no, nigga. I, you don't answer that <laughs> shit, that shit cut, nigga. No, he's, he's right, he's right. He's answer right. my phone call, that shit cut, nigga. Yeah, okay, I'm talking about. Repo that. Got you. So yeah, locks change on the door. The fuck you talking about? Can I I, I just say real quick? Well, I I I just want to retract my statement so everybody understands where I'm at. I now I now want to retract my whole statement. I disagree wholeheartedly. (laughs) Jay Willard does not agree with what the fuck has just been said. (laughs) Oh shit! Um. I don't give a fuck what I'm doing for you when we together. If we don't got no kids, of course, and it's over, of course, whatever the fuck was being done is over. Absolutely, cut. Okay, I get that. Period. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. I, you got to move out by. It, my, I give you two days. I, what the fuck? I give. Of course, my I nigga. Give, like especially give, if you a nigga. No, no, real quick. If you a nigga that got money, right? If you got money, you do a lot of things for women. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Because you got it. Because you got it. So I don't gotta give it to you when you're not. No, fuck that girl. She's wrong. <laughs> like and it's she bullshit. Not she does. She's wrong. Um, but that's that part one. Of, that's part that, one day. But wait, wait, but 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 y'all took it to another nigga. Y'all took it there. But it, no, the, that, I'm saying no, real quick. It, that took me. That reminds me of the, the Chris Rock shit. And he was like, you go to a restaurant and you eat, 
And it was great, but once you leave the restaurant, they don't owe you a steak, my nigga. You left the restaurant. Like, it's over. I don't owe you anything. Mm -hmm. It's over. I'm not paying for shit else. You, you could have the keys turned in by whatever date. You could get that shit on back, and it's cool. Whatever you got to do, that ain't on me. You grown. No, I'm answering the, uh, what I'm We're all agreeing there, though. No, I What's agree. the second okay. part? But it's just so the what was the second of, part? Yo, remember now. The second, the second part was you are now with a young lady who's uh -huh. being taken <laughs> care of by a next nigga. Okay, that part. Uses that's there. the part I was on the phone. I'm sorry. Right. So a, you're with a yeah, young lady, sorry. and now the young lady you're with, another man is paying her rent. Paying I wouldn't. Her I wouldn't deal with her. Car insurance, right? I wouldn't deal with so that. So now, woman. what? Like I said to, like I was saying out loud, at the present woman. point in time, when dealing with her, because he's paying all of these bills, that nigga call her at 12:30 in the morning. Mid yeah, I'm not. With, I'm not with it. I'm not dealing with that woman, she period. Gotta, she got to answer that it. phone call. Yo, I'm not bro, dealing with that woman, period. Because what she going to say? I was asleep, nigga. Why are you calling my phone? Yo, you... Why are you... Why yeah, because cause, cause cause whoever whoever, phone, whoever fam is... Check this out. He's going to have a sense of entitlement, which I understand. Because if that I'm was me... Your bills, if if that was me, I would have a sense of entitlement, too. But at the same time, I'm a different guy. I don't want entitlement over anybody. So I that's why I would dead it from the jump. I'm not that type of person who, who's looking for that Because you know what that shit. comes off like? That's like a parent. You pay, J Willa, you got two kids, right? Yes, I your do. Your kid, you, you, you pay. You, <laughs> it's yes, almost like you say, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. It's one. <laughs> what? We don't know about the other one. You <laughs> pay your kids. I would phone. never do that. Your kids, are, your kids is on your cell phone bill, right? Cool. You paying their cell phone. You, of course, you taking care of house and, and, and feeding them and clothing sure. them and shit. And you calling their phone and you ringing their phone down all day. They not answering the phone. You finally get home and your kids is in the crib and you like, yo, bro, I've been calling your phone all day. What's up with you? No, dad, why listen. you? No, 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 it's the same principle. Yo, dad, what you mean? Like, I was busy. Like, what's wrong with you? No, I feel like you this, was busy. I, I feel like that. Little nigga, I play with you. <laughs> I play with you like that. What you talking about? No, no, like, I get you. I get you. Uh, shit, I pay my little sister phone bill. Well, my little sister don't call. Like, if I call you a couple times and, and you, you don't, don't call answer. me back at all, it's not about the fact I'm you like, didn't nigga, you no. need to call me back. <laughs> call me the fuck back. Because you so, saw my missed call. That's it. You saw the shit. Wow. And I, I love my sister. Love you, Ruth. Love you to death. But no, that's why I got her the damn phone because you can't keep up with her. Shit, I got to call her ass. So, all I'm saying is, well, but, yeah, but I don't want to have, but, I don't want, but what I'm saying is, I don't want to have that, but that's a kid's. But it's you know the what I'm saying? Saying? I don't want to think of no, with this grown but I, person. I, I, I but that's how people will translate it to yeah. the same grown person. It's Me the personally, same shit. I I don't want to have that type of control. I don't I don't want to think there's something else I gotta think about in my day. I, so I would never you, you, but you. and I and so so all I'm trying to say is if there was a woman mm -hmm. and that was her situation, mm -hmm. I wouldn't deal with her. Mm -hmm. I, me personally. Mm -hmm. You know, like um I give Exclusions for kids, cause I get mm -hmm. kids, I get baby fathers. Fine, that's life. Situations like that, you that hey, age, yeah, yeah. kids gotta get but, taken but care of. But I'm not first. about to be just some nigga that was doing some shit for you, and, and I gotta my relationship with you has to be based on some other nigga. No, I refuse. I absolutely refuse. So Willa, your kid, yeah, I'm saying, I'm just saying, but Willa, your kids. kid don't answer your phone. But, but I'm, it's translating now to over to a young lady. Well, no, I, 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 I can't. I, the reason why I can't, so, I, I huh? can't subscribe to that. The relationship with my kids and the relationship with my spouse yeah, it's is two different. different. It's two different so it's like I, I and can't you're talking really... about he, he ain't even talking about spouse. He like girl, you dating. It's like chick, I'm dating, and we still gotta deal with ex nigga who's paying for I ain't got time. Bro, no. I might as well be but dating what, this motherfucker. But what I'm saying <laughs> like, is but what I'm saying is, Willie, you paying another chick rent and her car note. I wouldn't be like Well, okay, so 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 one thing we all did tonight, we all agreed that none of us would be in that stupid ass position. All right. Right? It's so, hard for me to talk about. So I feel like part one of the question we all agree on, nobody Word. here, and hopefully nobody watching us, will be dumb enough it's to just be paying for a girlfriend that they was with, with for six months and you just covering her lifestyle because you like, introduced her wanna, to Ruth Chris. I feel like for and us, right, Child. it's no, for like, I feel I like for ask us, it's Wade, not even about money. But I know how Wade feels about, about this. How, you, how, you, how you feel about it, Wade? I don't even know why you asked that, man. I just wanted to see. Would you Would you pay for another woman? I, I, okay, I ain't got to finish my work. Why you asking? I just wanted to anyway, ask. I feel like it's not <laughs> even about a... Bro, he's Trinidadian. <laughs> hey, yo. That nigga's from Trinidad. You think what? 
What? Oh, <laughs> scunt. Yo, bro, like, I don't, I feel like it's more, it doesn't matter about the amount of money that you, you're making, right? At a certain point, it's like, sis. I'm not doing it. You are, gr- yo, you know what that's, you know when I hear shit like that, you know what it tells me? Because Willa and I spoke about it before, right? And I said, yo, if you're willing to milk a girl like this, if you're willing to get a, if you're willing to pay her rent like this and I'm just fucking with her, sis, get to the bag how you get to the bag. Why? Because he's dumb enough to do it. Get to it. I would, I would never tell a woman not, never, to not to take a bag. But me as a man, but I went. would never, I, but watch this, me as her as a as someone dealing with her, I would never fully take her serious. Yeah, I would never take you serious. I couldn't. And then, and then I couldn't take you serious because another man is coming in between our relationship. Always. So at the end of the day, I, when I said that it's a joke, but I'm dating him too. Like because, you, you understand? Like I, literally, like I'm dating you, this, but but you can't moment, move unless he moves. Because so the like, moment he stopped paying it, guess who's gonna have to pay it now? Right. And now it's gonna be an argument that's between your, us. And because yeah, clearly yeah, that's the mindset good. you have now. Because the moment. Okay. Okay. So so. I, if I bring it back full circle, the reason why I think I initially agreed with it was because I, I in my present day right now, whatever this Wednesday is, right. present day, I know women who can get a man to do whatever they want for them mm-hmm. right. and they're not giving a pussy. Mm-hmm. Well, to, to the best of my knowledge, I don't know mm-hmm. everything because I'm not there all the time. But to the best but of I, my knowledge, I, I agree with you. you feel me? I'm gonna, so I'm to the best time. of my knowledge, I, I I do know of women who can call up a, a guy and they would do whatever because they think that eventually they'll get the box. But this young lady is like, this nigga can never hit. I'm just gonna continue to drag him out. I'm gonna get all his bread. Like, I know women him. like that. She was with him and then they broke up. Right. So it, it, in my head. The, the reason why I said that I could I could see myself being someone who was with someone. There's a lot of someone's, but I can be myself with a woman who's being taken care of, quote unquote, by somebody else who's just sending them shit with the hopes of possibly getting it, but will never get it. Yeah, but as long I can as get that, I can get if, that concept. If but that, you have to that, trust your partner right. to never give it up. And then, but at the same time, that, I don't know if I could. That relationship, in that situation, I don't but know that, if I but, could. Uh, but trust or not, that whatever situation that they got going on, it can't come in between what we doing, you know. But it always. But it, to be, I, I can't say it always will, right? I don't know it, always will, uh, yeah. right? Okay, so the reason why I say I can't, I, I can't agree with that. We know women who just go out on dates because they want to go out. Or they just but be hungry. But you got to remember, that's, that's in the beginning. No, the... But they got no feelings towards that nigga at all. But that's this in the beginning. To... No, but boy, what I'm saying is that they know people. Women, mm-hmm. bro, let's stop acting like women is just inferior, bro. These, no, 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 no. these niggas are super predators. But but you got to remember the caveat. <laughs> Willie, no, you got to no, remember no. the caveat. Bari, 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 let me just go real quick. Women are super predators, bro. Yeah, they got a nigga. Good. They got a nigga with good dick. A nigga yeah. with money. A nigga that's sensitive. A nigga that they got somebody for all of that. Absolutely. So they can they they have a nigga who just got bread that they can say, "Hey, babe, I'm I'm kind of short this week. Can you send me three hundred? No, and somebody somebody out there would be stupid enough to be like, "Here you go, baby. Don't worry about it." So what I'm saying is, if if if, if I was with that woman who thought that way, it was like, "Yo." Listen, me and you, we going to go to the wheels fall off. But I got this nigga over here who just be tricking on me. And he think he going to get it. He's never going to get it. If you can trust your partner to that extent, I feel like it can work. But you got to remember, in the situation we're in, it's not like this is a nigga that she was a just, it was a trick. This was a nigga that was her man, legit man. And that's, and that's okay. the caveat to it. Right. And because that's her, that was her man, someone that she was fucking with for real. Mm-hmm. Okay, I feel like it changes the parameters. Why? Because oh, shorty, I know you for real. It's not like oh, nah, you got a kid. I've been around your kid. Yo, you, you, your mom. I, I see. That's how mom. I took it. I didn't you know take saying? it. I didn't take, okay. it, like take it like she I just had some. You know what I'm saying? I didn't take it like she just had some goofball yeah, dude nah, giving her money. No, nah, like I, I, I moved the goalpost. I apologize. Yeah, Y'all yeah, are yeah. right. This is this right. is a nigga that's been her man. So because he's been her man, I feel like yo, you know what? At any, he he was fucking you. He, he crossed that bridge for a minute. He can cross again. You right. For a minute. And then in the you example, right. and then in the example, 
it went hard. Like she said, he get she got um she got an apartment. He yeah. was giving her bread. She got a car. And like she paying her car. You know what I'm paying her car. So she was everything coming with, and, up. and and in, in the video as well. She said he, everything is in his name. So like if he want to play around and fuck up his credit, he got to continue to pay it anyway. Right. Or he can just snatch it back and you'll be left with nothing. I would have just snatched it back <laughs> and I got me an apartment like, that I'm going like, to be Airbnb. Oh, oh. I got okay, me a so car that I'm going to put so, on tour row. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. It's so over my, for you. My credit might be fucked up, but you're homeless. That's it. What? And I don't care. It's over. <laughs> and, if, and, like, what? and and what, what, what she doesn't realize, if I, if I have that much money, I could take that, that financial hit a tad bit. That financial hit. Listen, if you got it, you don't care about it. Yeah, so guess what? So then, I don't but, care about what you got going on. So, all right, my bad. We, I feel like we've done a lot again, of women. Bashing. Listen, ladies. Yo, next week, man. Please, yourself. let's make sure that we do this for the men. Um, I just no, absolutely, absolutely. I'm not gonna absolutely. be here, and that kind of sucks. Well, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Um, don't worry about that. But it's all good. Um, it is what that. it is. Um, I know. I'm like, I'm like really upset. Like it ruined my whole mood, honestly. But no, you, right. I, I, I saw you. I saw you get upset. I did. I want to be here. Visibly, no, you visibly got upset. Don't worry about yeah. that. Got, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be commuting do. back from Chicago. Like that's no. You got more important things. Well, nobody. Nobody, nobody told you to be a world-renowned fucking skate DJ. Nobody told you to be a, a, I mean, one of the best skate producers ever. I mean, listen, don't worry that's about what you bad. get. My bad for being great, man. It is, that's it. <laughs> it's gonna be far. It's gonna be dope. Nah, but it's, it's dope, man. Um, you over here winning adrenaline awards and shit. Nobody told you to do that. <laughs> but yo, fault. man, I think today was a good show. Absolutely. I think we got some good shit. Well, every, every, every episode's a good show. What the fuck? Well, yeah. I, Ladies, make it a safe space. Make it a safe Listen space. Listen to your nigga. That's the best advice for the night, man. Make Listen it a safe nigga, space. A safe and then don't space, weaponize man. what we say. Oh, my God. Fuck, man. That one. That was the first one that got me in my feelings. I've been in my feelings I twice. The first one, what did I say? What was the first one I said? But, yo. Listen to what he says. Hey, listen to what your nigga say and don't weaponize what he say. Ooh. End of the show, man. We gotta end this. What is Once this? again, we Willow Wednesday, subscribe, like, follow, bring somebody to church. Hit the subscribe bell. Hit the subscribe button. Um, if you got any topics you want us to talk about because somebody said that they've been wanting to send us topics to talk about. Okay. Please Lit. DM us, please. email us. It don't matter how you want to get please. to us. Tell us whatever topics you want to talk about. We see it all. Trust me. We see Oh, all I, I want to say something. Talk to I want to say what's something. Up. Talk to me. What's up? New music coming soon. Oh, okay. Jay Willa got new music coming soon. Damo got new music yeah. coming soon too. New follow music. their YouTube pages. Um, follow their Instagram pages. The real Jay Willa is Damo. All the reaction good, videos good are coming also. The reaction videos is coming. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. about these yeah. reaction videos. They cussing us out. <laughs> they are really mad at us. Like, they like, like, like more like, reaction videos. Reaction like, videos like, so those, on the way. On those the come soon. Way, those man. come soon. So yeah, yeah, all that, all that. Yo, once again, I also say it every week, but I'm gonna say it again. Shout out to my brother Wade. Love you dearly, my yes, sir. My dog, always, always. Hold us he down, type shit. The real Wade, nigga, man. the real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and we got more content besides the episodes coming real, 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 real soon. That so, on love and like. We'll see you next week. Peace, love, and head grease. Holla, gangster. Bow, we out. Cut the stream. Cut the feed. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Peace.